Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing these Zelot S67 speakers. But before we do that, let's find it on Amazon and take a quick look at what it's all about. So we're going to type in the search bar Zelot S67 and we should have it in the first uh, two search spots here. So let's click on it. So here we have it and it looks really big and I like the mesh design of it so it's called Zealot and it's 67 or S67 and it's 75 watt which is really big most of the speakers I had to test before and use before have been 40 or 50 watt um, usually speakers are 20 watts or something like that and they are considerably big so this one is gonna be huge and I'm expecting it to be super loud so it's a portable speaker, it's very loud, so you focus on the bass, and it's waterproof, so you can take it outside with you. Then we have a really huge battery here of 14,400 mAh. That's really big. Most of our banks, even today, are, um, you know, 10,000 mAh per watt. So this is a speaker, and it's 14,000 mAh. Um, hour. So this is going to be really good to charge your phone from it and to use it for a long time. It should work for up to 50 hours and we get an equalizer and all that. So let's just quickly go through these pictures before we start the unboxing process. We get a little handle, 75 watt, and I like the design. It's waterproof. We get some buttons and yeah, so these are just some pictures. And we have the description here and it sells for about $100. Sometimes there are discounts. Um, but this is the official price. Now, without further ado, let's get this started. So here we are with the Zealot S67. The box is quite big and it's quite heavy too. I am excited to open it. Now, let's see. In the back, we have some specs. We get the three effects equalizer. We have an SD card slot. It's type C, which is really good and it has a microphone. Well, that's exciting. I'm not sure what the microphone would be used for. I guess maybe for making calls. Now let's get this opened. And here we are. We have the speaker. And let's see what else we get here. This is a cable, charging cable. Let's see how to get this out. This is a little handle. Looks like we'll have to put it on manually. I thought it's gonna be pre-installed. No big deal. And here is the speaker itself. Well, it's quite heavy and it's quite big. Not too uncomfortably big though. I think it can still be carried around. We get a warranty card. So that's really nice. So just in case anything happens, we can contact the manufacturing company. Here is the user manual. And it looks like we have some nice illustrative shapes and designs here it looks very straightforward I don't think we'll need the manual but it's there just in case we do now before we start with the speaker let's just put everything aside and see what these are I kind of like the color of this it looks like it would go very well with the black color but it looks like we'll have to put it on our own this seems to be the USB-C to USB-A charger or cable charging cable but no this is just a 3.5 millimeter jack and here we have the charging cable we get this in the box now let's get the speaker itself out all right so i like the color and the mesh it's very dark it looks very nice in my gloves but the mesh also looks really nice and here is the handle itself so it looks like we'll have to put it on here I'm um, not sure whether I'm just supposed to slip it in or might have to screw it out or open it so it's a little heavy but not too heavy it's it feels really solid it feels like this is made with high material very good material. Here we have the USB. Not sure if the angle is right now, but we'll go through them again. 
we have the SD card, the USB-C charging board, and the USB-A board. Let's turn it on. So here we have the buttons, the M for mode, the pairing, and the equalizer, play, and pause. Play is the one that does the pausing as well, and we have volume mode and volume down. Now, do we just push this in? It doesn't look like it's going in, so... We might have to open it and then screw it again afterwards. Yeah, but it feels like it's unscrewing, so I might do this later in the video. I just don't want to waste your time while I'm doing this. So here we are. It will go like this and then we'll screw it back. It does look like a little hassle to go through, but you know, you're gonna do this only once, once you get this. And you don't even have to use it if you don't find the need to, but it's nice, and I'm sure this will be handy. So let's put this on aside for now. Here's the speaker itself. A solid deal. It's quite expensive for $100, but it feels worth it so far. We're going to turn it on and see what it sounds like. But so far I really like the material. I like what we get in the box. And I like this Bix on the paper, looks great. So we're gonna take it for a spin and see what the sound is like and all that. So let's get this started. Hello everyone again. So now we're going to be bearing this to my laptop to test how it sounds like. Now I have to say it's pretty late here in my home, it's past midnight, so I'm not gonna make it very loud, I don't want my neighbors to wake up, but we're going to bear it to my laptop because I'm filming with my phone right now and we'll see what it sounds like, so I'm going to start the bearing right now, and we'll get started. So that was a very quick sample of how these speakers sound like. Um, I didn't want to make the volume very high because I have neighbors. I know I kept uh, clicking on the button, but on the laptop itself it was very low. I like how these move uh, when the speakers are playing. This is where the bass comes from and you can literally feel it vibrate under your finger or hand when you're holding this or if you just put your finger there, there when it's playing. Overall, I think it's very well worth the price. This is a very premium high-end uh, speakers. This handle, I haven't put it on it yet just because I don't really need to at this time, but it's very handy to have and I really like what they sound and I really like how these speakers move. We have the equalizer button there where we can change the colors and the tone of the music itself but it does sound to me like a very solid deal and I will keep testing this in the next few weeks so if you have any questions about it please let me know I like how detailed this manual is and yeah if you have this or if you're thinking of buying it let me know what you think of it and let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to make another video of it and thank you for watching have a great day